Hello and welcome to Assassin's Creed 2, the playthrough, part 15, on the PlayStation 3, with me, Dino Eldo. Now we're doing something different today, you can see me. Mm. So, uh, visual commentary as well as gameplay around me. I can see what's happening, this is crazy. I'm in the world of Assassin's Creed, whichever way it is. Anyways, this is just for this video, I just wanted to try it out, be, be kind of like, ooh, and all that, you know. So, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's watch Assassin's Creed. I hope I'm looking the right way. Hang on, if I'm in the video, it'll be that way, maybe? I hope I'm not failing. I hope the video is that way. It will be, won't it? If I'm, like, that way... Then the video will be because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito. 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 So this is where the boring stuff comes in. What we've got to do is right, Ezio. What we've got to do is talk to this architect. And he's going to tell us that we should be renovating the city. I'm not going to be doing it in this playthrough. I'm going to be ignoring it. And I'm going to be uh, focusing on assassinating people instead because that's what I want to do. So. No, I am Dino Eldo. Uncle, I like this architetto. He gets very observant when he can smell mud. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and Like I said, Just bring me maybe we'll, in the last video we will probably be getting out of Monteregioni today to do some other cool stuff, but got to get this boring stuff out of the way first. Sorry. Are you actually listening to him? Because I'm not. I did the first time I played through, I was like, oh, and I managed to renovate everything. But, uh... Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? I don't really want to look. Oh, that one, yeah. I like that one. <laughs> Go for that one. Maybe we could level it up again. Go on, level it up again. I think that's it now. Bombiaggio! Now what do we get to do? Um, let me just check my screen. Hmm. Are we running outside? No. We're going to speak to Mario. What's he going to tell us? It's your my boy. I think it's time I showed you something. Showed me what? A secret bookcase. Ooh. I like secret bookcases. In this, let's follow. I feel like one of those uh, people, you know, when you are, uh, when you know, you're watching TV dead late at night, and uh, these people in the corner appear at the bottom of the screen, and they're kind of like sign languaging, you know, and then they do that. This and have a look at the program. It was built by my great grandfather to honor the memory of the assassin order and protect the secrets. Look around. These are the assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I'd give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure, where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought the six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. In order to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. And then they slowly fade out if nothing's happening, which is weird. But uh, 
I'll show you this this happens. And then they fade back in when somebody starts talking and doing all that shit again. Right then, do I get to leave? I think I get to leave. I could be leaving. Oh my god, that was a motor vehicle outside my house. Not mine. Just someone in a car going past. With a loud engine. Out of the gates. Whoa, look at that expanse of world. It's like, ooh. It's like, eesh. Mad. Do I get to leave? Yes, so I'm doing so on foot. Why not use a fucking horse? What are you doing? Oh god, seriously. What the fuck? This is ridiculous. Oh, we finally made it. Back to Florence, he's got a big fucking journey if he's walking. Mind you, he did that when he was escorting Maria and Claudia, so why not do it again? The screen has gone white. How many days of white? What the fuck's going on? It's so bright, I can't see. Uh, we've got to watch Florence load up again. Bullcrap! It's cool seeing it, don't get me wrong, but when you've got to watch it and you can't skip it. 1478. Oh, god damn! Benvenuti Ezio Bebibo. Bebibo. Leonardo da Vinci's place, that's where I think we are right now. Leonardo da Vinci's place. And what will we do? Will we go inside? Who knows? If you saw a little cut then, it's because, uh, I can't remember why, but it needed to be cut. Oh yeah, because I went onto my PS3 menu and was doing stuff, and uh, I didn't want you to to see that, so I cut it. I didn't die or fail in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> I'm too, f I'm far too professional for that kind of shit. Lovely things. This one is tricky to break. Clever in its use of ancient languages. Mm, me, mamimi. Mamiro Babiski. I'm making up words that sound Italian. Anyone can do this. Just add that. Just, just add O or I at the end of each word. Wait, what's that? Papa Weno Babalski. Sounds like an evil dictator. What to make of all this? Mamuelo. Made up. Why not? What an inspired idea. Can you make it for me while I try what's in that manual fragment? Take it. I'll have my yes, get in. For you to practice with. Hey, Vincenzo! Vincenzo! I know him well. If you're wondering what I'm looking at, I'm looking at my uh, editing screen. I suppose I should, which is where the video is playing. I suppose I should be looking, looking around at the video. I'll show you what it actually looks like as well. Whoa. That is what I edit on. Cyberlink power producer. That is what that is what I'm watching it on. And I have the head sitting. That is my work badge. I work in Debenhams. Um, and there's the chewing gum. And there's the uh, headphone cables that are in my ear. Oh, and what I'm doing now is basically, if you can't see the video, you should, you should be watching the fucking video. What I'm doing now is going round and killing enemies. Not real enemies. They're little sack boys. But I like the way they still have blood in them. Watch. Did you see that blood come out then? What is that? Milkshake? Tomato sauce? Or ketchup, as you like to call it in America? The great land of the USA, where ketchup isn't tomato, isn't tomato sauce. We call it red sauce or tomato sauce. But everyone started calling it ketchup. I sometimes call it ketchup. That's that then, guys. How was this today? Was it weird seeing me? doing a commentary, live commentary in front of your face. This is what I look like when I'm doing commentary. Don't bother to make an effort. Just, uh, this is how it works, if you're wondering. I've done it. Uh, look. Great. I hope this picture isn't getting in the way of anything as well, like... Thank you, Leonardo. Something important, like Ezio's face or something. There's an idea. No. 
see what I'm here. I was going to put my face over Ezio's. Wouldn't that be weird? Would That'd be, away? yeah. That would be funny. La Volpe. Ah, in the next part we'll be going to find La Volpe. But until then, buongiorno, arrivederci, see ya, ta-ta.